So let's talk about being of service. This is such an, an important topic in one way, because this was really starts us out in, in life itself. I mean, uh, by the way, today's color is yellow. All right, it's that sunshine, this, uh, again, a solar plex uh, energy, and it all has to do with the theme of being abundant. Abundant energy, abundant purpose, abundant. So there's all that something about abundance. The other side of that, other side of abundance is gossip. You know, when, when people say things about you or about other people, that's the opposite of abundance because that sort of implodes everything other people are wanting to do that, that is a good reason. And then at the same time, they're complaining that they're not getting the things that they want. And so they think it's other people's doing or other lack of opportunity or anything and it's it isn't it, it's because they're they're poking at something that they want and all they have to do is just want it rather than having the belief that if i poke at somebody they're going to have less success and that success will come to me well that's impossible you you, you can't do that you that, that's there's no such thing as undermining somebody and whatever success they would have enjoyed you're getting I mean, that's just like saying, I want other people to be healthy, so I'm going to make myself sick. Like, it, it doesn't work that way. Uh, it works. It, everybody has their own energy and their own manifestational channels, and then that's how they do it. So today we're going to talk a little bit about being of service. And this is one of the things that we want to do, because this is really our profession, right? When we first start out, what do we want to really do? And what do we want to be on this earth? What kind of mark or impact do we want to make on this earth and in the beginning it all relates to okay uh i'll be doing various things and it's going to be for money so that i could you know buy a home buy a car get i have a certain level of standard of living that uh you know want to enjoy and so on and that's fine and one of the, the simplest ways is that you know some people will choose only those professions that pay a lot you know and so as long as it's for short term, like, for instance, if uh, if when you're young, you get an opportunity, let's say to go to Africa to uh, either mine uh, diamonds or you're you're going to up up north in Canada. We have various locations where they pay a lot of money for um, drilling for oil and it's grueling work. So in six months, you'll make as much as you would all year anywhere else. And that's okay for a short term because you're not really doing it because you love it. You're not doing it because it's it's your purpose. It's just that if you have a goal, I want to get someplace and I if I go there, let's say for two years, that'll give me enough money so I could buy a home and then I'll do something after. That's okay. But if you're doing that for 20 years and all you want is just more money, then there is sort of a blowback a little bit in one way. And what that means is that your purpose starts to dwindle. You don't feel you're really making an impact because all your decisions are based on money or based on what you can get out of whatever the earth is giving. All right. So when, when we look at that, how can we be of service? What is the difference and what is the the real process of going from uh, I'm just doing this for money to being able to be helpful? to uh to have a higher purpose to have this being of service energy all right and and this is really what it's all about because it is all about helping now whenever we look at anything that we're doing on this earth there's actually four factors of how the earth and how our professions are laid out in in our society okay there, there's four different ways or four aspects of it the first aspect is the work that you love there are some work that you will absolutely love doing. You know, when we're young, you know, some of the guys were saying, oh, I would love to get a job at a, uh, at a place on the beach and I would be hired to put suntan lotion on all the models, you know. <laughs> you know, the things you would, let's say, love, love to do. All right, that's just one example. Uh, the other one is what the world needs. At this time in history, I mean, if you were wanting to, do something what does the world need like and you just look around the world what does it need does it need technology does it, like what does it need for it to move forward 
The third aspect is the things that they pay for. In other words, uh, like the oil rigs and uh, like uh, anything that, that, that it just gives the largest amount of money. So it, there's that aspect. Then the last one is what you're good at. What are you good at? Do you have, have a knack for numbers? Do you have a knack for being outside? Do you have a knack with animals? Then you might be sort of slanting on a being a veterinarian or an assistant to being like one like that. But what Spirit says is that out of those four aspects, usually we hit two of them. <laughs>